you know, a lot of people have likened the situation that's going on right now is, you know, they say we're in a banana republic. I think that's an insult uh, to banana republics across the country. You just heard from a gentleman named Bo Hines, who's running for the House of Representatives in North Dakota. And um, he's having a little trouble keeping track of his banana republics. And if you're wondering what I mean, let's take a look at the whole exchange here. You get the Congress. Is it going to be real? Are we actually going to be willing to defund IRS, FBI, and things of that nature? Well, I mean, we have to. I mean, we're at a point in our country now where we have a unregulated fourth branch of government that's targeting middle class Americans on a daily basis. I mean, it's unbelievable what we're seeing. You know, a lot of people have likened the situation that's going on right now as, you know, they say we're in a banana republic. I think that's an insult uh, to banana republics across the country. I mean, at least the manager of banana republic, unlike our president, knows where he is and why he's there and what he's doing. I mean, we have a president right now that doesn't know where he is, doesn't know who he is or what time it is. And he's attempting to run our country at the same time, this fourth unregulated branch of government, which is the FBI, the DOJ, targeting Americans every single day. (laughs) When he said banana republics across the country, I was like, how could, what do you mean across the country? And then he's like, you know, the good general manages. I'm like, now we're calling him general. Oh my God, he thinks it's a store. Oh my God, he thinks it's the store. Holy cow. No, but what I love is that, okay, he doesn't know what banana republics are, which is bad by itself. But as right wingers have been referring to this country as a banana republic, Bo Hines is like, wait, banana republics are bad now? Like yeah, you- yeah, screw banana republic. I really don't like this season sundresses for women. A little, a little <laughs> too much revealing, you know? I'm not, I'm not into that. Like, so you just go along with it? <laughs> you just go along with that? So if your party has is waging a war randomly against Banana Republic retail stores, you're like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Those button down shirts, a little too fitted for men, not not in favor of that. Like, well, they, no, they celebrate ignorance, man. They really do. No, we have to watch the video again because I want you to focus on something different the second time you watch it. And guys, remember, this guy is not a dentist, okay? He's not an accountant. He's in politics, right? Banana republics are a very well known thing if you've studied politics for one minute. Let's watch. No, no, wait, hold on. I gotta tell him what to look at. Oh, okay. Now, as he's talking, pay attention to the facial expression of the man sitting next to him as he makes it clear he's talking about Banana Republic retail stores. Let's watch. You get the Congress. Is it gonna be real? Are we actually gonna be willing to defund IRS, FBI, and things of that nature? Well, I mean, we have to. I mean, we're at a point in our country now where we have a unregulated fourth branch of government that's targeting middle class Americans on a daily basis. I mean, it's unbelievable what we're seeing. You know, a lot of people have likened the situation that's going on right now as, you know, we're, they say we're in a banana republic. I think that's an insult uh, to banana republics across the country. I mean, at least the manager of banana republic, unlike our president, knows where he is and why he's there and what he's doing. I mean, we have a president right now that doesn't know where he is, doesn't know who he is or what time it is. And he's attempting to run our country at the same time, this fourth unregulated branch of government, which is the FBI, the DOJ, targeting Americans every single day. Toward the end, that that guy looks off at someone who's off camera and like (laughs) smiles because someone off camera is clearly making fun of Bo Hines. Yeah, and no, that was great. In the uh, beginning when he had the big smile and then he says like republics across the country and he's like. (laughs) Oh no. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? And uh, the insults to the general managers are terrible. What? Okay, question for you. Question for you. What do you do? I don't know what the name of that guy is, right? With the red tie. Uh, what do you do if you're the guy with the red tie? Do you interrupt him and correct him? Do you just let it go? No. Look, it's, it, sometimes uh, awkward things will happen with allies. Okay. And what you have to do is you have to subtly correct them the next time they pause. You don't have to interrupt and go, hey, knucklehead, 
Okay, they, they're not talking about the stores. They're talking about the countries, you know, run by third world dictators. Although that's super unfair because we actually did coups in those countries on behalf of United Fruit Corporation. But anyway, yeah. that's not, they're not talking about Gap. They're not talking about Banana Republic, yeah. idiot. Yeah. Okay, no, you just, next time he says, well, of course, but also, uh, I'm sure they're also referring to the Banana Republics in Central America, blah, 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 right? And you at least correct it for the record for the audience. Right, right, right. right. Oh my God. Oh my God, what percentage of, Voters think that Banana Republic means the retail store. Oh, Republicans like probably sixty percent, but I but I don't blame like okay look they're not political experts. This guy's running for office, okay? But six I bet you if you did a poll, sixty percent of Republican voters would think that when they were saying Banana Republic, they meant the store. And look, maybe to be fair to him, we should mention that Joe Biden was photographed at a Banana Republic retail store, letting the American people know that they have. The best deals in the world, Jack. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, then. So that's what he meant. Maybe Encouraging that's what banana republics all across the country. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's a photoshopped image, by the way. It's not real. <laughs> you have to clarify to Republicans. Just in case. Um, okay. Now, Bo Hines' mix up is hilarious, uh, but we'd like to debunk some claims that were made in the context of that conversation. So that was a funny component, but let's also talk about like the fear mongering that has emerged by the GOP. In regard to the IRS finally getting the resources it needs to, you know, do audits of incredibly wealthy individuals who dodge their taxes. Because their overwhelming focus has been on people who are not rich because it's easy to audit them, it doesn't take as much resources, right? And so through the so called Inflation Reduction Act, there was money allocated to beef up the IRS to focus on these, you know, high end tax dodgers. And I do want to go to this next video because this is the fear mongering I'm talking about. We're going to debunk it in just a moment. Let's watch. The regime made a bad miscalculation here on the heels of passing legislation to fund this new Gestapo at the IRS. The organization is going to be used in the same abusive, corrupt manner. As the FBI and the DOJ have been used. No, um, first of all, what she considers corrupt actions by the FBI and DOJ are not actually corrupt. It's just that they're investigating Trump's possible criminality, and she nor like that. Uh, but let's talk about why the IRS is getting some funding. So more than half of the agency's audits in 2021 were actually directed at taxpayers with incomes less than $75,000, according to IRS data. Rich people who file complex returns have access to accountants and lawyers who can fight the IRS's enforcement mechanisms or at least draw the process out over years, as Trump would know, by the way. Even when the IRS is able to collect from those types of taxpayers, it will have expended lots of resources in the process. And Republicans have actually done an excellent job over the last decade in defunding the IRS to protect their rich buddies. So their rich buddies can get away with dodging taxes. And then the IRS focuses all its attention on individuals who make less than $75,000 a year. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen pledged that audit rates will not rise relative to recent years for households making under $400,000. So they're, oh, they're coming after you, really? You're all making above $400,000? So oh, right, Laura Ingram was lying. You know why she was lying? Because the entire Republican Party is formed to protect rich people. And she's rich. Yeah, she's incredibly rich, so is everybody at Fox News. And so what they're doing is, like, oh, they're turning this into a banana Republican targeting all of you guys with discount shirts that look crisp when worn. I mean, they're targeting <laughs> you guys and the IRS is gonna come take your money. No, they're not, unless you're making over $400,000 and they're gonna take your money. They're doing slightly more audits to make sure rich people aren't cheating on their taxes. Because when they cheat on their taxes, that tax burden falls on all of us. 26, uh, uh, 26 to 6 of the richest people in America paid an average federal income tax rate of just 4.8% over six years, 2013 to 2018. When the growth in their wealth is counted as income, according to Americans for Tax Fairness, using IRS tax payment information recently released by ProPublica and billionaire wealth growth data from Forbes. Do you guys understand? You, if you're an ordinary American, everything that the GOP is trying to scare you with, 
has already happened to you. They just don't want to ever be held accountable for their criminality, for the fact that they're not paying their fair share in taxes. How insane is it that someone making $40,000 a year is paying a higher percentage of their income in federal taxes than the wealthiest people in this country? It's yeah. insane. And the Republicans love it. They love it. Meanwhile, they're trying to distract you with everything they can. Bo Hines later said the Democrats just want a king, any king. I heard they even want a Burger King. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.